This 26 Sports and CCTV High School Hockey presentation is presented by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. Hey, welcome back everybody. We are ready to join second period action here at the Wexian Cadillac. Again, Jeff Castillo. I've got Mark Tonello up in the booth with me tonight. We gave Bill Dooley another night off. I don't know uh, what he could possibly be doing right now, but... Uh, <laughs> Working on his tan? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, so anyway, boy, we had a good period. I think uh, Gaylord should be pretty glad to come out of that period with a 1-1 tie because they got seriously outplayed. What do you think? Yeah, shots on net were officially 11-2 for Cadillac. And, uh, of course, one of those shots for Gaylord went in. So uh, not a lot of action in the Cadillac end, uh, a lot of action in the, in the uh, Gaylord end, but... Caleb Pettis really stood tall. I mean, he was key to that first period. That and the Gaylord penalty kill. They right. killed off two penalties there, and, uh, you know, that's what's keeping him in the game so far. Yeah, and he made some big saves. It could easily be, like, 4-1 to one right now, 3-1 to one or 4-1, to because uh, Cadillac had some really, really good scoring chances, and he uh, he's keeping his team in the game and giving them a chance, and that's what you can that's all you can ask from your goalies, to give yep. you a chance to Absolutely. win. Absolutely. He's made the saves he should make so far. All right, so I don't know, uh, Scott Graham has got an extended uh, speech during <laughs> intermission here or what, but we have not seen the Cadillac team come out yet. Linesman's ready to drop the puck. <laughs> hey, I want to mention something that's coming up on, uh, oh, on yeah. Saturday, February 16th. There is a benefit game going to be played here at the WEX, and it is the Cadillac Area Law Enforcement Team versus the Michigan DNR Conservation Officers Team otherwise known as the Fighting Fish Cops. Nice name. And uh, so that's going to be Saturday, February 16th at, uh, at 7 o'clock is puck drop. There will be a silent auction at 5.30. There will be uh, some other stuff, including an open bar at 6.30. Um, a suggested donation uh, will be $10 for adults, $8 for students, and, uh, and then five and under free. And uh, basically, the uh, the benefit will be for the Silent Observer okay. program. And the, some of the auction items they're going to be auctioning off are uh, Franz Nielsen uh, signed authentic Red Wing jersey, Lower Bowl Griffins game tickets, uh, Fair State Fair State game hockey tickets, and a locker room visit. Uh, team jersey signed uh, from Ferris State University, nice. and then a beautifully hand-painted saw blade. And there will be a cash bar that evening, too. So should be a lot of fun that night. Again, Saturday, February 16th. Uh, activities start about 5.30. Puck drop will be at 7. Come see the Cadillac Office. Cadillac uh, Area Law Enforcement Team versus the, the DNR Fighting Fish Cops. All right, I like it. Sounds like a uh, pretty good event. There doesn't happen to be like a signed Bill Dooley jersey in there anywhere, <laughs> is there? I'd come just for that alone. Uh, you, 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 you might get that for a pretty <laughs> low bid, too. <laughs> yeah. uh, you never know. All right, here we go. We got the drop, pop, uh, puck drop, and Alan Shear dumps it down into the corner. Out comes Colton Hurst. That one's off of John Allen's feet. Looks like it might go for an icing. Ian Bush is racing down there, but not able to get there quite in time. Yeah, I could see these guys trying to dish the puck to John Allen all night, the way he's been playing so far. I would. <laughs> all right, that puck is going to come all the way back into the Cadillac zone. That's the Gaylord zone. Or, yeah, excuse me, the Gaylord zone. Looks like John Allen and Fisher Moore facing off. That one is won by John Allen. Back to Sean Jardine. Jardine puts it up to Hurst. Hurst trying to make his way out, and Fisher Moore was there to intercept. And the puck does eventually come out. Schmidt deal back to pick it up, and that's going to be another icing on the Vikings. All right. Hey, are there any uh, DVD opportunities to? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so if anyone is interested in getting DVDs of these hockey games, um, you know, you can get a box set or you can get a uh, individual games as well. Um, you uh, will want to go to cctv cadillacorg or mynews26.com, and that's how you can get those. Watch out here. Ian Bush with a nice little chance and a big save by Nathan Moore. They just about put that one in. Nice chance by Gaylord. Here comes Fisher Moore breaking it out. Bumps it up against the board. It's going to race Sean Jardine for that one. Jardine with the big long reach. Able to get there first. Alan Shear picks it up off the boards. Makes a room, makes a move to the net. Not able to sneak it in as Pettis steered that one aside. That's Sam Gorno behind the net. Brian Geiger on him. Gorno. Gets it up to Ian Bush. Bush has got some room to clear it out. Up to 
John Allen. Allen is able to, while well, he tried to dump it in and block was Brandon Eller. Puck goes out to Austin Pendrick. He loses it out to Ian Bush. He makes a nice move and he scores. Ian Bush with a nice little move. John Allen had him uh, dead to rights, got him over on the uh, front of the net. Yeah, that was a nice play by John Allen, of course. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure he'll get the primary assist on that goal. Yeah, nice little pass and, and nice patience by uh, 55 Ian Bush. Ian is a freshman. That certainly did not look like a freshman move, but he was very patient, made a nice move around Nathan Moore and put the backhand in. That was a... That was a, at the end of a long shift, too, yep. for those guys. All right, so that puts the Blue Devils up 2-1. to one. Here comes Cadillac. Nice shot there by Hayden Watkins. Pendrick there to try to keep it in, unable to do so. That's Alec Leotard. Here comes Blake Stevens. Stevens able to get it down into the corner as Cam Keen bumped into him. Pendrick behind the net. Makes a nice move, gets it over to Cam Keen. Keen looking to get rid of that one, unable to do so as Kleinsorge was right there. Excuse me, that's not Kleinsorge, that was number 24, Gunnar Buer. Okay, flipped out to Alex Leotart. Leotart not able to gain possession. And Cadillac is offside. Puck just kind of dribbled in a little bit on him. Want to mention one thing that'll go unnoticed on the score sheet, but uh uh, there was a really good break out there that was started by Sammy Gorno down deep in, uh, his, in his own end. He's a very smart defenseman back there. He will rarely turn that puck over. He found an open player and was able to break that puck out, and that's what led to that goal. Yeah, and they've been having some trouble so far tonight getting the puck out of the zone as Cadillac's had some pretty good offensive pressure on him with their forecheck. All right, ref going and having a little chat with Derek Tonello. Plays like a lot, <coughs> a lot like his dad. Refs are going to be all over him. No comment. <laughs> all right, Brandon Eller is able to get that one in. Watch out for the live boards. Jardine back over to Gorno. Nice poke check there by Tonello. Tonello, good pressure to keep that puck in. It looks like he's still on it. Cleared out to Schmidt deal. Schmidt deal gets it over to Brandon Eller. Intercepted by John Allen. He was looking to head to the net again, and he lost it on the blue line. Yeah, let's not give it to him. Yeah, back down into the Gaylord zone. Sam Gorno takes a look, hits the winger, and that one's dished out. Intercepted by Brian Farley. Farley not able to do anything with it, but Zach Issard picks it up, gets a nice shot, but that one went wide. Here's Ian Bush, Gaylord's last goal scorer. He puts it back to Gorno. Gorno right back to Bush. They got John Allen going up the side. Given to him, he puts it in deep. Colton Hurst along with him. Okay, here's Brendan Phillips. Phillips is happy to just dump it down behind the net. Puck goes out to Bush. Bush tried to get in there and wasn't able to do that. Here comes Big Zach Izzard. Well, I thought that was offside. I thought but so too. They didn't get it. He wasn't on the line, so they got away with that one. Here's Brian Farley. Pies, tries to put it over to Phillips. Not able to do so, and that one tipped away. Nice play by Andrew Qual. There's Izzard. Trying to use that big body of his. There's bodies flying around everywhere. And Brian Farley comes away with the puck. There's another one. Zach is or just, and he got called for that one. Yeah, he got the elbow up right into Andrew Qual. It was bound to happen the way bodies were flying around there. Yeah, got to keep those hands down. So this is going to put Gaylord on their first uh, power play for the night. We've got 13 left, 13 10 left in this second period. And we'll take a look at what uh, Gaylord has on their power play. Cadillac's got Watkins, Tonello, Schmidt deal, and Austin Pendrick out there to kill this one off. Gunnar Buer, Andrew Qual. Looks like Brad Keen out there. Mac Milne. And Blake Stevens for the Blue Devils. Puck is cleared all the way down behind the Gaylord net. Here comes Qual. Takes a look, puts it over to Gunnar Buer. Buer gets it across the red line and dumps it in. Here comes Stevens. And Brad Keen. That one's out to Derek Tonello. He's got a little room to work. Makes a nice little move to the inside. Buys himself some space. 
Gets it up to Hayden Watkins. Watkins able to get a shot, but nothing on goal. Gaylord regroups. Here comes Andrew Qual. Qual taking a look. Going to be happy to dump it in deep. As Gunnar Beard trying to reach up on that one. Pendrick intercepts it and flips it down the ice. There is Derek Tonello. Watch out for him. Got a lot of goals this season as he is the leading scorer for the Vikings. And there's Tonello flipping that one in. It gets a little bit of the net, so they're going to call that one back just outside the zone. Good penalty kill work so far by the Vikings. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors tonight uh, for the broadcast, Cadillac Castings, Pizza Plus, Fox Motors of Cadillac, and Cadillac Tire. Thank you, as always, for the sponsorship that allows us to do these broadcasts. All right, Alan Shear taking this one against Colton Hurst. John Allen over to Gorno. gorno has got some room. He's happy to dump it in. Gaylord has been going with the dump and chase so far on their power play. Tries to put it out in front. Oh, that one went off of Allen Shear, not able to clear. And there's Gorno to keep that one in. He puts Alex Leotart down. And here comes Allen Shear. Ian Bush better hurry. Okay. Allen lost a tire there, blew a tire. Ian Bush made a nice move. He's got some speed going. Gets across the line, not able to do much more than that. Gorno takes it back, and they're going to regroup. We've got 20 seconds left on the power play for the Blue Devils. That is John Allen taking a look. He's trying to make himself a little path to the net besides get it off to Gorno. Gorno takes a look. He's happy to dump it down in behind the net. There's Ian Bush again. He puts it up to Sean Jardine. Wasn't able to handle that one. Gorno intercepts on the other end. Big hit by Alan Shear. Here comes Alex Leotart over to Fisher Moore. Fisher Moore puts it up to Leotart. Not able to handle that one. And I believe we had an offside call, so he wasn't able to get it quite clean. And both teams are at even strength, so... Good, good penalty kill work by the Vikings. I don't, I'm not sure they gave up a shot on that, uh, on that penalty kill. So nope. nice work. Nope, I don't think so. Well, All this, right. uh, this Farley Izzard and uh, well, he's got Fisher Moore out there now with these mm -hmm. guys. This is a little different looking line, uh, but Farley and Izzard had good uh, pressure uh, last time they were out. So yeah. we'll see if they can uh, duplicate that. It's like Cadillac's version of the grind line out there. All right, here is the Blue Devils. That goes up to Nate Kleinsorge. Not able to handle that one. That is 18. Brad Keen dumps it down into Schmidt Deal. Schmidt Deal's able to clear the puck to Andrew Qual. Qual's got to take on Izzard. Bumps over to number 44, Nate Kleinsorge. Taken off nicely by Jack Schmidt Deal. And Fisher Moore picks that one up. Tries to get it over to Izzard. Now just dumped in. Back out to neutralize and back into the Cadillac zone, picked up by Fisher Moore. No one can seem to get a handle on it. Yeah, a little sloppy shift here. Yep, Fisher Moore making a couple nice moves there. He's got Brian Farley with him, getting a little bit of pressure down behind the net. That's 18 Keen and 88 Qual back there, and a nice stop by Pettis as that's going to bring a face off in the Gaylord zone. I'll tell you what, Fisher Moore never quits, does he? No, he's, uh, he's all over the place. He's all hustle. He really is. Like I said, that's a little bit of a grind line they've got going there. He turned something or nothing into something there and got a nice shot on net. Yeah. And he's got big Zach Izzard to push some bodies around for him. All right, that one went back to Keen. Derek Tonello dumps it down in the corner. We've got Hayden Watkins and Alex Leotard along with him. Pendrick not able to get the stick blade on that one as Keen goes back and dumps it back out. Gaylord needs to clear the zone as they do. Here comes Cam Keen. He puts it up to Tonello. Tonello takes that one, trying to get up the right side. He's got a little bit of room. It's a race for the puck with Gorno. Gorno is able to push him off the puck nicely. Nice play by Gorno there. Yep, he just calmly pushed him aside and grabbed the puck. Now Alex Leotard. Le all right, we got a high stick there. I guess I missed that one, I Mark. I, I missed it, too. I think it's going to be Watkins, though. I did not see it. What I saw was Tonello wide open in front of the net and Leotard thinking about trying to get it to him, and then the whistle went. So All right, very well. uh, untimely penalty for the Vikings there. Yeah, it might have been Hayden Watkins. I think he it was. Had, uh, 
he was having a little conversation out there with Mr. John Allen. I don't think they were talking about dinner for after the game. No, probably not. These guys know each other. They've played against each other for many years, so. Well, that's good. The rivalry that adds to. Okay, so here we go. That's going to put Gaylord on another power play. They were unable to, I think, pretty much even get a shot on their last one. And here comes Alan Shear. Shear putting the pressure on. Tonello was able to get that one, but he's got to clear the zone. Here comes John Allen. Allen's got a little bit of room to roam. Gets it in, dumps it down into the corner. Here comes Sean Jardine. Sam Gorno intercepts that one, puts it down in the corner. That one ends up being cleared by Jack Schmidt. Dion's wants a race for the puck. Alan Shear and Ian Bush. Shear has got him out muscled. But John Allen was able to pick it up and take that one. Nice there's recovery by Bush. Yep, there's Colton Hurst, puts it over to Gorno. Gorno gets it down into the corner here. Sean Jardine, but it takes a little funny bounce off the corner board. Nice little tip there. Nate Moore right there for the stop. That one's put over to the center. Fisher Moore was right there to intercept that one. And he puts it all the way down the ice. Alan Shear heads off, and here comes Alex Leotart to help out on the penalty kill. John Allen brings it up for the Blue Devils. He's got a little bit of room, passes it to himself, puts it right out in front of the net and off of Schmidt and in right through Nate Moore's legs. That's a tough one right there. Wow. Yeah, yep, that's a tough one. Yeah, certainly didn't mean to do that, and that puck just takes some funny bounces, and that was one of them right there. So that'll be yet another goal for John Allen. Yeah, he's the one that put it over there. Okay, that's one of those, just put the putt towards the net, and you never know what's going to happen. They didn't have a player there no, either. No, there was, there was nothing there, nothing going on. Yeah, so. that's, uh, that's a tough, uh, tough situation. Of course, uh, I know Schmidt deal probably feels horrible, but, uh, but we've all been there. I know, uh, I know I've had that happen to me playing defense before too, so. Yeah. All right, so actually the Vikings are making a goalie change. They are bringing in senior Seth Van Newkirk. And, uh, yeah, that's a tough one right there. And I think that's more of a, a message to the team as opposed to a message to, you know, Nathan Moore. Right. Um, you know, really, there was nothing Nathan could do on, on that one. No, nope. so. you can't really be expecting a shot from there off your own player. So just one of those things. Okay, well, the Vikings find themselves, uh, even though they're kind of dominating this game, a little bit, they are down three to one on the scoreboard, and that is what truly counts in the uh, on the end. And that was again, as with the second goal, that was John Allen unassisted. Okay, or, I'm sorry, the first Gaylor goal. Right. Yep. So that's two for John Allen tonight, and three points. Yeah. Well, he had three goals and four assists the last time these two played. He's already racked up a couple goals. So that's ten points so far in two games yep. against the Vikings. Did he assist? Uh, he did. Yeah, he, he assisted assist Ian Bush's okay. goal. Yes. Well, like I said, as uh, as John Allen goes, the Gaylor Blue Devils go, and he's going tonight. So not good news for Cadillac. All right. So we've got three to one. They got to get something going here. You don't want to give uh, Gaylor the next goal and go down four to one. That's for sure. Okay. Here comes Izzard. Izzard's got Farley and Geiger with him. Izzard takes a nice shot and a good save by Pettis right there, and he's not letting up a rebound. Gaylord clearing out the front. They're going to have a little bit of conversation there. Tell you what, this line is, uh, they've been getting some good chances too. Farley in there, he's a good stick handler. Yeah, all three Cadillac lines have generated scoring chances yep. so far tonight. Well, but Caleb, Caleb, Caleb Pettis being the difference. So far, Caleb Pettis and John Allen. Yep. All right, we've got 7-11 left in this second period. That's Hayden Watkins against John Allen on the faceoff. Allen able to get that one back, although Char Sean Jardine misses it. Watkins gets it out front, but that's intercepted by Gaylord. Here comes Allen. Allen making a wide move. He's got Ian Bush with him. Bush tried to center that, and it didn't get through. Back over to Sam Gorno. Nice shot, and that one was blocked by Austin Pendrick. Boy, he took that one off the inside of his foot. You know, you just kind of do that. Uh, by uh, just a reaction, and then after you do it, you're like, oh, why did I do that? That does not feel good. All right, back behind the net. There's Tonello to intercept that one. 
Nice play by him to keep it in the corner. He's got Leotard with him. Leotard digging, trying to get it out front, unable to do so as John Allen came away with it. Right back to Allen. Allen gets across the line again. And again, he shoots at the net. Again, he's a lot like Allen Shear where he'll shoot from anywhere. Why not? Yeah, if I had a shot like that. What the heck? Okay. That one dumped right back in. Gaylord's starting to get a little momentum going here as they're able to get on the four check. Andrew Qual gets a little squibbler. Ooh, boy. Dangerously bouncing off of Seth's stick. Got to be careful with those. Kind of threw a knuckleball at him. Yeah, Vikings got to be, you know, got to be a little, little more careful with the puck in their own zone. That was right on the line, but did not get out. And uh, they, they've got to be, got to bear down and make that play. Yep. All right, just under six minutes remaining to go in this second period. Gaylord has popped a couple in so far. They've got a three to one lead on the Vikings. There's Fisher Moore. He's out there with Alan Shear. Brandon Eller back on defense. Brian Geiger on right wing. Fisher Moore and Brian Geiger. Moore dumps it in, but Andrew Call is able to get it right back out. Vikings clear the zone and a nice touch pass up to number 44. That's Nate Kleinsorge. Kleinsorge back with Eller. That's put out to Alan Shear. Shear's nice got pass. yeah, Shear's got Brian Geiger flying up the right side. Geiger loses a neck guard there, but comes away with the puck. Andrew Call, nice defensive play to get that one out. Kleinsorge clears. Eller's right there, puts it over to Hugh Jack Schmidt deal, who's not able to keep his feet. This one goes over to Eller. Eller gets it across the line and dumps it in. Pettis on the save, and he's going to be happy just to keep that one down and take a face off in his own end. Okay. Boy, really seeing, uh, you know, some some negative body language from the Vikings right now. They're frustrated. They yeah. feel like they played pretty well at this point in the game, but here they are down 3-1. to one. They've outshot the, the Blue Devils probably by quite a bit, and uh, and here they are down 3-1. to one. So they've got to generate something. Yep, they've got to keep their heads up. Just got to keep going and making things happen. It's only a two-goal game. That is not insurmountable by any means. All right, here comes Tonello. Tonello's able to dump it in. Sam Gorno right there. Gaylor has played a much better period this second period than they did the first. That is for sure. Jamie uh, Voss must have had a little talk with them and uh, sent home a message to them because they've come out uh, like a different team in the second period. Petta stops that one behind the net, picking it up. Sean Jardine makes a mistake there, puts it right back into Leotard. Leotard can't find it cool. in his feet. Ends up going out to Colton Hurst. Freshman Colton Hurst puts it over to Ian Bush. Unable to do anything with it there. That's Phillips. Squibbles it up to Ian Bush, and Ian Bush is able to put it right back into the zone. There's one of those turnovers you're talking about. Okay. Colton Hurst still able to get a stick on it, but that one is cleared by Pendrick, and that one is going to be an icing. Cadillac's got to regroup. And you can see a little frustration setting in. Yep, yep, and this is where Coach Graham needs to settle them down and just tell them, hey, look, you guys have played well so far. Um, just keep grinding, yep. keep getting pucks deep, keep, get, keep getting pucks to the front of the net, and something good will happen. Well, and Gaylord has played good defensively this period. Uh, they have Cadillac much, has much really better. not got. I mean, have they got any? Have they had a few shots? Have they had scoring opportunities? Yeah, maybe quality. one. Or, maybe one or two. Yep, not real, real quality. So Gaylord's defense has been pretty good, and Pettis is solid in there. Okay, back to Andrew Qual. Qual tries to get it over to 17. That's Brock Wingo. First time we've called his name tonight. Uh, Geiger off. just a just a touch off sides there as yep. Cam Keen tried to bring it across the line. All right, and they are going to regroup. 329 left in the second period. Gaylord Blue Devils three, Cadillac Vikings one. Cadillac well, trying to get the next goal here. One thing about the Vikings is they we know they can score. Yeah. You know, they average over four goals a game, so they've got a number of different players that can put it in the net too. All right, here comes Izzard. Izzard taking the big shot, doesn't get that one through. His aunt, uh, Qual was right there. 
Paul with a nice stop. Here come the Blue Devils. Nice, nice little back check by Brian Farley. Farley. Puts it up to Izzard. Izzard had a good chance and just missed it there and blew a tire. That's Brian Geiger working hard. Brock Wingo trying to put it down underneath. Andrew Qual over to Gunner. Gunner able to not quite get it there. Puts it over to Brock Wingo. That was a misfire. There's Izzard again. Okay, here comes Andrew Qual trying to get it through the zone, taken off nicely by Brian Geiger. Here come the Vikings. Just a little bit too far for Farley. That one's flipped up into the netting and unable to stay in play. Yeah, I want to mention that uh, the production of this sports presentation is a cooperation between the Mex Wexford Misaki ISD CCTV and My News 26. Uh, we've got students here under the supervision of a professional director running the cameras, and they assist in re graphics, replay, and directing. And thank you to everyone involved. It's a great program for these students. They learn a lot, and uh, and we get to we get to watch hockey later on. Yeah, absolutely. And I think a number of them will uh, take the opportunity, maybe go down to Central Michigan and uh, continue on in the broadcasting careers. So a good start and good experience for them. Okay, here we are at about the two minute mark in the second period. Vikings trailing three to one as they're trying to get it out of their zone. That's Hayden Watkins. He puts it up to Alan Shear. Shear's got Tonello breaking, wasn't able to get it to him as the puck goes back behind the net. That's Austin Pendrick. He's got Watkins out front, able to, unable to clear again. Hustles back, that's Brendan Phillips. That was a hand pass, so that one is going back into the Vikings zone. A little different look here for this line. He's, uh, he's got uh, Alan Shear out here with, uh, t with Tonello and Watkins this time. Yep. We all know that's the three big guns right there, so Scott Graham trying to get a goal here. And boy, as a team, you hate to give up that late goal, uh, but you also like to get one late in the period. All right, Watkins is able to get that face off back to Phillips. Phillips bumps it up. Alan Shear is trying to get that one before it goes across the line. He's able to do so. That's 44, Nate Kleinsorge. Kleinsorge puts it over to, oops, that's number nine, 93. There's turnover. Ty Pecan. Three on one for Gaylord if they hurry. Okay, here's Pecan. He puts it up, nice redirection there by, who was that, Blake Stevens. Nice save by Van Newkirk there, nice save. Yeah, Ty Pecan made a nice play on that one. He's a freshman, hasn't had a lot of ice time tonight, but made a nice play, gave a good scoring opportunity, and nice save by Seth Van Newkirk for the Vikings. 108 left here in this second period. That is Colton Hurst. Waiting for the face-off. I have not seen Fisher Moore on the ice here in a few shifts. Yeah, it's been a few. I'm hopefully wondering if he's, he's okay. hurt. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, and once again, Vikings unable to clear. There's Allen. Allen had a nice shot and rebound. No one there to clear it. Looked like Ian Bush to put that one in on the rebound. Once again, a defensive zone turnover. Boy, in the uh, little quiet in the stands tonight. They haven't had anything to cheer about in quite a while. Well, as you mentioned, uh, you hate to give up that late goal. And uh, that just happened to the Vikings there. Yeah, and boy, I tell you, it's a big difference between like, you know, a three to two game and a four to one game. When you're at that point, you want to try and get that next goal. But give credit to Gaylord. Absolutely. They've played a much better period here in the second. Not giving up the good scoring chances and getting a lot better pressure on themselves. Okay, that Schmidt deal trying to clear. Gorno was able to keep that one in. Slides it over to Ian Bush. Boy, Ian Bush had a couple guys off to the side of the play and was not able to get them. John Allen was one of them. That right. one's going to go up into the netting. Did you get the official results on that yeah, last goal? Yeah, that's going to be Ian Bush from, I'll give you one guess on one of the assists. Well, probably John Allen. Oh, you're, you're, you're very and good. And then Sean Jardine, okay. uh, one of the seniors, on, uh, on the other one. Okay. Other assist. All right, thank you for that, Mark. We got 37 seconds left in this one. 
Still time for a goal by either team. Cadillac's got the big line out there with uh, Watkins, Tonello, and Shear. Ian Bush dumps that one in, and John Allen is on the chase. That Schmidt deal puts it up to Allen Shear. Shear puts it over to Tonello. Tonello's got a little bit of room. Gets it down into the corner. Watkins was right there and able to keep it in. Now down to Tonello. Tonello tries to make a move around Jardine. Nice defensive play by Jardine. Jardine takes it down below his own net. He should just keep it down there, and he does, and that is going to be it for the second period of play. We're going to exit this one with the Gaylord Blue Devils 4 and the Cadillac Vikings 1. Mark, any last-minute remarks before we head off? Yeah, I would say that, you know, the Gaylord coaching staff is going to be much happier with the Gaylord effort in that period. I will say that, you know, Gaylord is playing a very patient game. Yep. And they're basically waiting for us to make, for, you know, for Cadillac to make mistakes in their own end. And then when we do, they make, they make you pay. So, um, yeah, it was a little bit of a flip-flop because uh, Cadillac was putting the pressure on Gaylord in the first period. But Gaylord wasn't able to get the puck out of their zone. A lot of that was happening the other way around where Cadillac was not able to get the puck out of the zone. And the longer it stayed in, boy, the chances went up to put the puck in the net. And they sure did a good job of that. Okay, so that is going to put a wrap on this second period. We will return for third period action. I'm Jeff Castillo with Mark Tonello. This is 26 Sports and CCTV.